All right, so I got a Captain Black cherry in here. I told you before that this is really the only thing I smoke. This is the only pipe I smoke when I'm here in, um, at the Wyoming house. I have to say that Captain Black Cherry is way better than I expected, but I do love it. So it's about 20, 25 degrees out right now. It'll get a little bit warmer this afternoon, but, but not, not a whole lot. It's just that time of year now here up in the Rockies. We're about 7,000 feet. But it's beautiful, and the snow is kind of held off. So it's just a nice time to show you what it looks like. It doesn't really get a whole lot nicer in this, especially in the winter. And you can see the Tetons are looking um, awfully snowed in and they look beautiful. Um, they're so steep and so rocky that the snow doesn't stick on them very long. So I decided to show you what it looks like. And I've got some close-ups that I'll add when I'm done talking to you. So the one of the things I wanted to say was how much I appreciate you guys starting to, I see more and more of you putting up your life, your yard, your home, your cars. Um, you know, Greg at Tunnel Time took us on a, on a motorcycle ride and showed us the fort. That was amazing. You know, Yusuf showed us his yard and his dog out back. Um, and that beautiful green backyard that he's got. Uh, I just really appreciate that. Um, and Pater is off and hopefully he'll uh, take us with him on his uh, journey. And who else? Uh, Mark. Mark is off to a journey and I hope he'll take it with, with us as well. So it's just nice to, uh, to know you don't have to focus on smoking all the time or your pipe or your cigar or tobacco all the time. You can actually get out there and show your life a little bit. So I just really appreciate that. I don't really have so much else I want to say to you today, but I've all, uh, I'll show you the property. I'll show you the bonfire. I'll show you some of the work I've been doing. I'll show you around a little bit. That's what the rest of these videos. So I'll pin those on to the end of this. I'll say, uh, have a great Friday. And I will talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's Friday morning. It's kind of late in the late in the morning, but it's kind of a perfect weather for how the uh, Teton range looks like right now. So I decided to get out here and show it to you before you know we have any weather coming in. So we've got there's a uh, the Teton, and it is the Grand Teton. And then off to the right, we've got the rest of the range. And then on the far right is um, Mount, Moran, Mount Moran. He's in this, uh, got it all wrong. But anyway, I just want to show it to you. This is the kind of right down, uh, it's a little bit out of the back, large, back, large, back, geez, backyard. Jeez Louise, sorry guys. It's, uh, just right from the back of the plop property. And I just wanted to show it to you. You know what happens when you burn green? Get that big plume. I'm sure the neighborhood appreciates that. All right, some of you asked them to see what I've been doing, so I've been cutting, trimming trees. So this will turn into firewood. They're all, these. this stack's double length. That's how it's ready to dry out, and I'm gonna get it cut, and I got a fire pile moving. And then outside the fire pile, there's Ranger having some fun. And then this is more to go on the fire pile as it burns. So that's uh that's been the project the last three days. Just cutting all this down. 
Just looking back across my property. Let's see, there's the guest house and the main house is back there, but I'll show that to you later. Um, so we border against uh, all out there is, all out there is US Forest. And uh, that's Pacific Creek out there. I'll show that to you later. Just a little scan of the property. Grand Tetons are out here. I'll walk over and show this to you. In a so minute. I walked out on the property a little bit. There's Ranger. He loves, he's an outdoor dog. He's a snow dog for sure. And then coming on, you look down the Pacific Creek. And the Tetons are sort of out today. Not a great view, but there they are right there from the property. What a privilege, huh? What a privilege. That's the Grand Teton. She's playing a little uh, shy right now. All right, we'll walk out now and uh, show you the creek. All right, so we're at the creek now. That's the main branch over here. It's called a braided creek, or crick as they say here locally. It braids out and breaks out into these lots and lots of branches. And again, looking straight down the creek now at the Tetons. Looking back up the property line. I'll just do a quick swing over. There's the guest house. The project site that I showing you is over there. There's the guest house. The main house way up there behind it. There's a ranger with a little bit of a little stick. All he wants is for me to throw it in the river and let him swim. So we walked up to the main branch of Pacific Creek. It's only a couple feet deep. Best uh, fly fishing, trout fishing in the world, they say. I imagine Montana they have a problem with that, but. And here you see it breaking up into one, two, three branches. You know, it's all by hand, so I apologize for the shakiness of it. And once again, looking straight down the creek, right at the Tetons. And I'll pan you around. There's the guest house. So this creek is essentially the property line. I mean, not legally. It's the property lines over here somewhere, but basically, uh, I got no neighbors over here. Just a beautiful place. Beautiful place. It's a privilege, I keep saying it, and I will keep saying it. It's a privilege to live here. To call this my backyard is incredible. Okay, so uh, I showed you the Tetons, and here the rightmost one is this. This is Mount Moran. Kind of a famous mountain. You see it in a lot of pictures. Now you see my water dog. He doesn't care that it's 20 degrees out. All he wants to do is be in the water. Alright guys. I think it will be my final property shot for the day. We have about a one acre lake. And then it's right out in front of the. This is what we call the back of the house. But that's the main house. All those prominent windows. I'll show you the view from the house. When the view gets a little better. A little worn out and there's my dog ranger thinking he can't understand why he can't go swimming in the pond but that's it i think that'll be it for today i'll post all these get them all together in a movie and get them up